TPP is a way through the back door to basically undo the Amazing Citizen Victory from SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act. That was legislation that had some legitimate stuff on stealing copyrighted material, but super glued to that with some of the most crazy, extreme ways in which our normal, everyday use of the internet would make us criminally liable to have to pay some of the content providers ridiculous amounts of money. So, here are the problems. Number one, snuck into TPP is a provision that would have a mandatory fine that every country in TPP would have to establish for what is called small-scale, unintentional copying of copyrighted stuff. What's that mean? That means if you copy a recipe, I copy a recipe and I send it to my mom on some subscription internet site, I've just made a violation. Or you make one copy of one song and you send it to your friend. That is not a commercial enterprise of cheating people out of their copyright. We all do that all the time. $10,000 fine per time in every country is what would be snuck in. Number two, unintentional copying when your machine does it. So every time you open up a video, there's a buffer copy. You don't save it. You don't use it. Under the TPP, that would be subject to a huge fine. Basically, it's just a way that every time you look at a YouTube video, someone would be able to like charge you something for it. Third thing that's in there is any breaking of a digital lock. Well, anyone who uses Linux or anything other than Microsoft, when you go buy legitimately software and you want it to run in your computer, you have to break the digital lock. There's nothing criminal about it. But the monopolists who have the copyrights and the patents want to make sure that you actually can only use their stuff. So it would be a crime to break a digital lock, even if you're doing it for something you actually legitimately own. Number four, it would make the actual internet providers liable, as well as the individual consumer. What's that mean? That means suddenly you'd have a whole lot of internet providers who'd be cutting you off anytime you did anything they thought was suspicious. And also, they just start basically cracking down on our internet freedom. The fifth, the fifth piece that's worrisome is all of this is basically a way to control how you use the internet, how much you have to pay for the internet, who's snooping on your use of the internet, and every single country would have to implement all these extreme rules limiting your freedom, just what we do every day with the internet. Not through domestic law, but through this international unaccountable superglue agreement. Because with these agreements, once these kooky extreme rules are in effect, you have to get every single country to agree to change it. Which means basically governments can change, opinion can change, but we stay totally screwed. So we can't let this agreement be a backdoor way to impose what already in sunshine and democracy we've already beaten.